Tonight marks the first full moon of 2016, and bicyclists from across Bakersfield came together to ride in the moonlight. 23 BC's Ken Masenchi joined the riders and has more for us tonight. Ken. Gracie at Bike Bakersfield created the full moon ride nearly a decade ago to give local bike riders the opportunity to enjoy a peaceful ride together in the dark. But the riders acknowledge that the darkness can pose potential dangers for bicyclists without proper equipment. The idea is for them to feel safe on their bikes riding in a group and then hopefully they will feel safe enough to go out on the streets and ride. Saturday marked another successful full moon ride put on by Bike Bakersfield. The event often hosts anywhere from 30 to 200 cyclists who want to ride with other bike enthusiasts. It consists of a slow paced journey from Beach Park to the marketplace. People stop there and they go get a beer, an ice cream, whatever they want, and then they just kind of come back on their own to the, the light of the moon. But riding under the moonlight requires biking at night, a time that statistics from the National Highway Traffic Safety Association show can be quite dangerous. In 2013, more than 56% of fatal bike accidents happened between 3 p.m. and midnight. Bakersfield rider James TD says staying safe at night is all about bringing out the lights. Visibility sake, that's really it. I run two, which kind of helps, and they both blink, so one hopes that while a, a, a motorist is driving along, they'll see two blinking lights and it'll really get their attention. Bakersfield has had its share of fatal bike accidents at night. Last month, a driver hit a bicyclist near Oswell Street and Virginia Avenue. The bicyclist died at the scene and the driver fled before police arrived. TD says it's important to be extra cautious when it's dark outside. Just ride safely. You know, make sure that you're aware uh, where you don't have enough room on the right-hand side of the road to be. I'll get out into a lane. I'd rather be in the middle of a lane, in the middle of somebody's field of vision, than on the edge of it where they may not see me at all. And the next full moon ride is scheduled for February 22nd and is open to riders of all ages and skill levels. As for the fatal hit and run, police are still looking for the suspect. In studio, Ken Masenchi, 23ABC.